Hello folks, my name is Moss. I'm building a playlist about Arduino fundamentals here on my YouTube channel Lockmaker360. And in the previous video we talked about uh, digital pins. And in this video we take a closer look to the analog pins, sensor input and pulse width modulation. There is uh, just one thing you can measure on an Arduino pin. And that is a uh, different in voltage. So keep in mind the only signal a uh, sensor is sending to an Arduino is a uh, voltage value. In the previous video we talked about the digital pins. And in this video we gonna take a look to the analog side. And on an Arduino Uno we have six analog pins from A0 to A5. And we can read a value between 0 and 1023 and that's a 10-bit value. And we can write to the pin a value between 0 and 255 and that's 1 byte or 8 bits. And if you are not familiar with bytes and bits, please watch part 5 from this playlist. An analog pin can handle a voltage between 0 and 5 volts. So if we read to the pin we can say that we have 1024 options and if we divide them by 5 volt then we can say that 1 volt is equal to 204 sensor output and this is called an analog to digital converter we convert an analog value to a digital number in general sensors have a sensitive voltage component and this component reacts on a difference in the surrounding environment. If there is a change in the environment, the component will increase or decrease the resistance. For example, this light sensor. The component has a very high resistance value. As you can see in the serial monitor, it's, a, it's around 18. But when I put a light on it, the resistance will drop and the voltage will increase till 755. To find out uh, the specifications of your sensor you have to read the data sheets and the data sheets are written by the makers and they are full with uh, information about the sensor. They are not easy to read but if you want to know the boundaries of the sensor you can find them inside the data sheets. If you have a solid incoming sensor value and you know the specification of the sensor, then you can uh, map it inside uh, the software. And a few months ago I made a YouTube uh, video about this, how you can uh, translate uh, incoming sensor value to uh, temperatures in uh, Celsius. And I will put a link to this video here, or if you look from a mobile device, you can find it in the description. Uh, let's take a look to uh, analog write. Uh, you would say I have uh, 256 options and if I divide them with uh, 5 volts I can say that 1 volt is, uh, is 51 sensor inputs and if I analog write uh, 51 to a uh, LED then the LED will light up with uh, one volt but uh, analog write is not working like this analog write is uh, working with pulse width modulation so what is pulse width modulation as you remember from the digital pins they could be uh, zero volt low or they could be five volts high but if we analog write a value to a pin in this case we have a 50 percent high and 50% low in one cycle. If we divide uh, 256 by 2 then we have 127. So this is called a duty cycle of 50%. So pulse width modulation is a digital technique to simulate a lower voltage. Uh, if an LED is on for half its uh, duty time it wouldn't fade as bright as it is for 100%. And to make it uh, more complicated, almost all Arduino boards do support pulse width modulation on a few digital pins. And as you can see here, it says 
PWN and a wave. And if you see the wave by the pins, then you know that those pins have uh, pools with modulation support. You have to uh, look it up because uh, all the different Arduino boards have a different uh, pool with modulation pins. So uh, if you work with pools with modulation, you call the function analog write and then the pin number so you can do a analog operation on a digital pin and then you have a pulse width modulation operation i'm here on the uh, arduino website and i looked up the uh, analog write function they warrant you to be aware that uh, some pins like uh, pin 5 and pin 6 on the arduino uno are set to a higher clock speed so they, they are on uh, 980 hertz, while the uh, other pins are uh, set to uh, 490 hertz. And this means that uh, if you use uh, pin 5 and 6 to uh, light up an LED with uh, a pulse with modulation operation, then the LED will uh, light uh, much brighter than if you do the same operation with... Uh, this time you use pin uh, 9 and 10, for example. If you need for some reason a real uh, digital to uh, analog uh, converter, then you have to order the Arduino Duo board, because that's the only board so far as I know who uh, supports a true analog output. So uh, we have a digital write and we can set this pin high or low and we can write this to all the pins on the board and we have an analog write and we can write a value between 0 and 255 to all the analog pins and to a few digital pins and if we do this then we start our pool with modulation uh, duty cycle uh, this is uh, the end of the video please subscribe to my youtube channel to see more upcoming videos about uh, the arduino fundamentals have a look on my youtube channel lockmaker360 to see some uh, sensor reviews and thanks for watching